welcome to my channel again. I was about to forget my name. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like my third video today. Um, I think I told you guys in my previous vi videos, if you don't know already, today is a very rainy, hurricane-y, windy day, right? And there was no need for me to go outside. I uh, <laughs> had no plans of going outside today. I have a pot of stew that's uh, stewing in my crock pot. And uh, after I finish these videos, I'm going to make some homemade cornbread to go with my dinner tomorrow. And uh, so today is a perfect day for me to be on the inside and catch up on all of my uh, haul videos. So thank you so much for your patience. If you have been watching my previous videos, I still have more to come. I still have probably about um, <clears throat> maybe three other videos to do. <laughs> but I'm going to try to keep them uh, keep them within a reasonable time frame. So hang in there with me. I really do have some cool, amazing, amazing items to show you. And uh, I got a new method going on. So I have I have boxes of buckets that say uh, photograph. I'm sorry to say hauled and then to photograph. And so what I'm going to do immediately when I uh, have these boxes, I'm going to photograph those um within a day, right? And then get them listed. So again, anything that you guys see in these videos, right? Uh, just let me know if you guys want me to put them to the side or you want them, just send me a message. I'll put all of my information down here in the description, my Etsy and my eBay shop. And um, let's see, um, what was I going to say? Oh, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down there. Hit the bell notification so that when I do upload these videos, you will be notified. Does that sound okay? <sighs> Take a deep breath. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Bear with me because this one may be a little bit longer because this will, this is going to be my last one for today. Um, and I want to get in as many as items as I possibly can. I won't linger on a lot of the items because I do want to get through these and try to keep this under 40 minutes. I'm going to try. All right. Sound good? Excellent. All right. So the first item I'm going to show you guys, I love this. This is a Precious Moments. It is a Precious Moments nativity scene. I absolutely love it. Um, it is obviously, um, it has a lighter because it's a um, has one of those little light kits in it. There you go, is what I'm trying to say. It is so beautiful because the light is kind of subtle and it's very stunningly beautiful. I absolutely love this set. And guys, I want to say I only paid $4.99 for this. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me just show you the bottom so you can see the, excuse me, Precious Moments logo just in case you're not familiar with it. But um, this is going to be perfect for, I believe, the holiday season. Nativity sets sell really, really well for me. And uh, I just thought this was stunningly beautiful and stunningly just precious uh, for the upcoming Christmas season. All right. The next item I actually got from, where did I get this baby from? I am not remembering. Anyway, let me just show it to you. It is a beautiful, I'm going to call it mid-century modern flamenco dancer. But she's stunningly in her beautiful green uh, flamenco dress. And I think it's mid-century modern. There's no maker's marks on the bottom at all. But she's made out of ceramic. And I just love this avocado green color. She's going to make a wonderful addition to somebody's home decor. I love her. All right, the next item is I'm going to call these like Kokeshi dolls, if you will. Um, they are, this one is a little dusty. Um, this is a Kokeshi, I'm going to call it a Kokeshi um, Senior Citizens. I'm not going to say old man and old woman. That's not nice. I'm going to say senior, senior leaders of our world. Um, they are stunningly elegant and regal looking. And I totally love this. And I think when I look this baby up, these things do really well. I took the prices off most of these items, so I don't know what anything costs. So just bear with me. All right, moving right along. You guys may have seen one of these in my previous videos. <laughs> this is, I forget her name, but she's a part of the Toy Story characters. This is Woody's, I think her name is Wendy. I don't remember. Anyway, she is amazing. This one is in excellent condition. The one that I showed you guys in a previous video, she was a little dusty and a little well, well worn. She had some stains on her, but she is in excellent condition. Like, I think she's basically new, new and package or something she has well she doesn't have the package but there's nothing wrong with her she is absolutely in great condition hold on a second well, aren't you the sweetest space toy i ever met 
<lacht> Oder? <laughs> so I have two of these nails, so that's great. So I'm going to list them together and, um, you know, not, not list them together, but lock them up. So the next item, I found an author court. If you guys don't know author court, it is amazing. Let me just show you the mark on the bottom. This one says author court, copyright 2000. I think that's 2006. I want you to see that mark. So this is, I believe, is a napkin holder. I love Arthur Court. I have sold Arthur Court in the past. Um, I sold a really big Arthur Court terrine when I first started reselling. I sold that baby for almost 60 bucks. It was gorgeous. And so this one I recently found, well, not recently found, it's been in my, my uh, pile for a minute, but I found this one and I loved it because what does it have? Horses, horses. Who loves horses? My daughter, Sonia. So she's not getting this baby, but isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that absolutely, absolutely gorgeous? I love it. I love the feet on it, and um, I just love it. So anyway, author, court. All right. The next item I got from, uh, where did I get this baby from? From 2nd Avenue. And I can't believe it was still on the shelf. Because I do remember when I saw this, it was late in the evening, like after work. I just happened to pop by. And it was still on the shelf. And um, when it was in my cart, this lady was like, oh, my goodness, I was just about to come back and get that. Sorry, Charlie. Anyway, so it is a canister set. It is a, I'm going to call it mid-century modern. It's a canister set. I absolutely adore this. No, there's no maker's mark on the bottom. And as you uh, as you can imagine, I, it's a four-piece canister set. It has the flour, sugar, coffee, and tea. So I'm not going to take them all out. But isn't that gorgeous? Here are them stacked on the inside so you can see. But I love, love, love this. A few things here and there. But once I'm going to put some, um, some, uh, um, I have some of that. It kind of sort of uh, shines up wood. It doesn't harm it. But I'll clean it up a little bit and make sure it's, it shines beautifully. But the lady who saw this in my car, she's like, oh, my goodness. I literally was coming back to get that. Anyway. So the next item I got to show you guys, I only paid $2.99. Let me just show you the price. This, this was Goodwill. Let me show you the price. Got it for $2.99. And look at this. $2.99. Sorry about that. It's a tumble up. Uh, I have never seen a flowery tumble up. Right? Now it says on the bottom, there is a uh, a label. on the. It's from Princess House. Princess House Cottage Tulip. Made in Romania. You see that? So, you know, it's so funny because so it comes with a little, you know, a little drinking glass and then it comes with the carafe and, you know, late at night, you put this by your bedside and late at night, you get a little thirsty, you can uh, have at it. But anyway, this was only $2.99. And when I looked it up, um, it doesn't go for much. I want to say it goes for like $18. Not that that's, a, I'm not sleeping on the $18, but I thought for sure that it would go for more than that because it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. It's like I said, I, I'm i going to do a little bit more research on that baby and see exactly uh, the most appropriate price to, to list that. The next item came from Goodwill as well. Look at this beautiful, stunningly beautiful. I believe this is Fenton, I believe. There's no label on it, but I do believe it is Fenton. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. Here's the top. But isn't that, look at that beautiful, kind of sort of beautiful, stunningly uh, hunter green color. I just love it. Now, I know bells aren't popular. They, you know, not want to say not popular, but I love these for Christmas time because they make such a, a wonderful piece to your Christmas and holiday home decor. So I love it. Of course, I was going to pick it up. All right, the next item is a mug. Let me just pour these babies out because I could not even believe that. This is a, uh, it's a World Market uh, Christmas mug. I think it's a Christmas mug. This looks like a uh, fox, I believe, with a sweater. I think this was only like 99 cents or maybe even less. But mugs do really well for me, particularly the ones around Christmas because people love drinking their, their hot cocoa around Christmas time. World Market, this brand definitely does well for me as well. So, um... You know, I just decided to pick it up because it was just so cute. Who doesn't? Little, little Paul. Little Paul. Isn't that cute? I love it. Now, this next item, guys, I literally, literally found these in a bag. You know, those little baggies in the store. And when I saw all of them, I was like, okay, they're cute. Didn't think anything. I'm going to try to show you all of these together. So it's all three of these, right? Cute, right? 
I actually have four of them. So I have four of them. And on top of the fact, guys, you're not going to believe these. These things are, um, what do they call it? They're bendable. Like their arms bend, their legs bend, they're uh, jointed. That's what they call them, jointed, right? So I have four of these. So when I look these up, oh my goodness, they are something. I can't remember what they are right now because it's been a while, but I remember when I looked them up, I didn't think anything. I just, you know what, I originally, I originally got them because when I package up my items that I sell, I like to include like little small gifts or whatever. This is a thank you to, um, to, to my buyers. And so I actually got them because they were so cute. And I said, well, you know, I'll just package one up and I'll just include it as a little thank you gift, right? However, when I went to look at the look up these babies, I found these on eBay. And I want to say that I saw a set of four of them. Now, some of them come with like clothes. This one is the only one that came with the dress, um, came with clothes. But these little babies, I want to say, are they German? I can't remember if they're not, but but they they're something, right? So if I'm if I do my research and I, I'll put a picture up here so you guys can see. But these babies sell really, really well. I want to say probably the four that I saw was about 30 bucks or something. And I got these in a baggie for like, I don't know, $2.99, $3.99 or something like that for all four of these. Actually, I think something else was in that bag too that I didn't really care about. But anyway, that's that. All right, so the next item I have a set. So somebody, this was at the Goodwill. Somebody at Goodwill, just like when I went to Goodwill and got all those snow babies, somebody must have gotten rid of all of their Linux dolphins, right? I found one, two, three, four, five, six dolphins at Goodwill. Now, one of them I didn't find at the same time. I think five of them I, I found together. And then the uh, the next one I found... Um, when I went on another trip there. But anyway, it is one, two, three, four, five, six dolphins, right? So I'm going to show you the biggest one, which I don't think it's Linux. As a matter of fact, I know it's not Linux, but it was near the other dolphins, right? So it's this beautiful, I'm going to call it like cobalt carnival glass type of dolphin. I believe there was a tea light or maybe a bowl that would sit here. It wasn't there. That's okay. But the label, this was the original price they had. I didn't pay $9.99 for it. I got this from Goodwill. Don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, but anyway, the label on the bottom says made in Poland, right? But it was near the other little mini dolphins that I got. And I'll show you those in a minute. But it's so cute. Uh, it's so cute. It's a little dusty, but it's so beautiful. Like I said, I'm thinking I'm calling it like a iridescent carnival glass cobalt blue. And he's in great condition, no chips or no cracks or anything on this beautiful, beautiful animal, ceramic animal. Right, so that's that. So I'm going to show you these one by one. I was going to try to put them on a tray, but I just don't have time. All right, so the first little Linux figurine I found, I'll show you the little Linux label on the bottom so you can see. This one, he's made out of wood, right? He's made out of wood, and I love him. This is Linux. The next one I found is Linux. And look at him. He's like a cobalt blue with gold uh, gold accents. Excellent condition. The next Linux is a two-piece, right? So this dolphin is actually sitting on a wave. I think it's supposed to be like a little trinket box. But he's, sit he's sitting on a wave. He's enameled, cloisonne or whatever. Um, and it's gorgeous. I think, hold on a second. I know I saw the Linux label. Give me a second. Is that it? I don't think there was a label on this one, but I do remember when I looked it up, it was definitely Linux. But anyway, let me just show you. Isn't that gorgeous? I love, 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 love. This one is actually my favorite, right? So that's three. The next one is the standard Linux, uh, kind of sort of cream color one with gold accents. He's in great condition as well. And here's the Linux label. Love that one. And then finally, this one is made out of um, stone. And it's Linux. And um, it's 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 heavy. This one is heavy. And this is the one that I found separate from the other. It was one that I showed you when I went back the next time. So obviously, somebody was getting rid of their Linux collection of dolphins. I'm not sure if that big blue one was... 
brought into more than likely because they were all together. That one clearly is not Lennox. Again, as you saw the label, the label said made in Poland. But nonetheless, what I'm going to absolutely do with all of those Lennox dolphins, I'm going to lock them up and sell them as a lot. I saw, um, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five of those. And I want to say that when I looked them up on eBay, I saw a lot of, I think it was like six or seven, and they sold for like $49.99 for the lot. And I think I paid a dollar and ninety nine for each one of those. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is lighting them all up, even including that big blue, that big blue one. What do you guys think? Sell that one separately or sell them with the other little small ones? I don't know. I think somebody who loves dolphins might appreciate a collection of dolphins, right? So anyway, I'm going to pause my camera right now so that I can get some other stuff and then I'll continue. Give me one moment, please. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So there's a bug crawling on my light. Do not like bugs. Uh, we're going to leave it alone. Yeah, go on away, little fella. <sighs> anyway, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm back. I actually uh, needed to set up this last set of items and um, and uh, go check on my stew because it's it's uh, doing its thing in the crock pot. I just wanted to stir it and make sure nothing was going on with it. So, continuing on. So, I have been really fortunate to find uh, a bunch of uh, Fenton figurine pieces and this one is no exception so I found this beautiful beautiful Fenton let me just show you the label Fenton label this beautiful iridescent white iridescent uh kitty with a beautiful emerald uh necklace stunningly gorgeous so found that piece I don't remember where I got it from the next item I found I believe is a uh Erksic burger I made they may be pronouncing that wrong, but it's a smoker. And this one, guys, I think when I looked this one up, I could not believe how much this one is selling for. Um, they sell for really good money anyway. So it's a smoker. Um, I think that's what they call them. But this one, uh, the clothing is made out of felt and he's a little dusty. Here's the bottom. And he's just so whimsical and cute. I got to clean him up a little bit for sure. But uh, I just thought he was completely adorable. All right, the next item, don't let me, show, let me show you these items first. Then I'm going to show you all of these dolls that I got. I got to bend down, so bear with me. Um, the next item I have is a, um, it is a set of, what am I trying to say? Pillowcases. These are uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy pillowcases. And they are so 1970s, 80s totally love them. And they're huge. They're for the large pillows. Look how big these babies are. They're huge. So anyway, I found those and don't remember how much I paid for these either, but um, I think what I might do, because I have some Raggedy Ann and Andy um, pieces or, or uh, figurines that I found, the one that I just showed you in a previous video, and then I have a box that I found, which is amazing. Um, so I may sell these along with uh, the Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. I have to, you know, wash them and make sure they're nice and sanitized and clean before I uh, before I sell them and list them. But I just thought that was pretty amazing. Something vintage. I'm bending down. The next item I found, where did I get this from? It doesn't say. It is a cute little, is that a cow or a pig? I think it's a pig. Little pig planter. There's no maker's mark on the bottom. I'm not really sure, but uh, she is in great condition. Isn't she adorable? I think she's adorable. All right, the next item, like I said, guys, I have been, had this haul on the side for a minute and I'm a little behind. So thank you so much for your patience. If you guys have seen any of this before, please do let me know. I don't think, I think this all came from my to be hauled pile. Um, but if you guys have seen any of this before, you know, please forgive me. Charge it to my head and not my heart. I'm trying my best. You know, I have a full-time job and a part-time reseller. 
And uh, I'm doing this all wearing a bunch of hats, marketer, social media person, the shipper, the lister, the uh, respond to customer inquirer, all of that. Wearing all those hats, being a wife, being a a, um, a sister, being a uh, um, all of these hats that I wear. Seriously, uh, all of that. It's, it's like a lot, which I'm sure many of you can relate. But uh, I digress. Anyway, so here's a, a figure, uh, a Star Wars, Lego Star Wars uh, clock. I've sold this before. I couldn't believe how much I sold it for. It does work. Um, did I take the I guess I didn't take the batteries out. But anyway, this thing does work, as you can see. I did test it. I think I sold one of these. I'm pretty sure I sold one of these probably about four, four or five months ago. And I want to say I sold it for like 28 bucks. I have to go back and look. But it was definitely a good price. Again, I don't have any prices on these. I'm not sure exactly what I paid for it. But, um, you know, Star Wars is highly collectible. This is obviously a, a great piece because it has the clock. So I just, this digital clock. So I just thought that was super duper cool. And of course I was going to pick it up again. Couldn't believe it. And this one actually appears to be relatively new. The one that I had before, um, there were a few dings on it. And this one looks, it looks in good shape. So I just have to make sure that I... Uh, you know, test it one more time and uh, set the alarm and make sure I can show that in my video that the alarm does go off. So I usually I usually do that typically. Anything that's electronic, I try to also include a video that shows that it works. And if it's something that's lighted, I try to plug it in and take a picture of that as well. So I usually try to do that. Give me one moment. Reaching down. Um, this next item I just thought was super cute. It is a, a beautiful, actually. It is, I'm just going to call it like a vase. And it's a vase of this frosted uh, lion. And at first I was going to keep it, but I'm like, no, I think I'll just go ahead and sell it because, you know, my husband is a Leo. He's Leo the lion. So I thought I was, I thought I would just go ahead and sell it. We have lots of Leo and uh, Louisiana pieces here and fleur de lis. So we're good. I just thought that was super cute. Put that baby there. All right, the next item and the final, well, not final, but it's the final in terms of this bag. Um, this one, I believe, oh, Eldrith. I love Eldrith. Oh my goodness, this is Eldrith 1999. So guys, if you know me and you have looked at my previous videos, you know that I love Eldrith. I have... I pick up Eldritch pieces whenever I can, particularly the ones that are signed. Um, a, a lot of them aren't signed, but if you know Eldritch, you know Eldritch. There's a lot of salt glaze pottery companies out there, but I love Eldritch. Um, they just, they just, I just love them. This one is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. It is in great shape, guys. No chips or cracks that I can tell. I'm pretty sure this one is in good shape. But I absolutely love this piece. Love, love, love this piece. And as you can see, it says Eldritch 1999. So I love, love, love these pieces. I took the prices off of all of these, as you can see. So I'm not remembering what I did and how much it cost. But in any event, I love, love, love Eldrith. Be on the lookout for Eldrith. My friend, I think my uh, reseller friend Shalanda, I think she found an Eldrith Santa Claus so maybe about two years ago, maybe. I think she did. Eldritch Santa Claus, they go for really, really great money. If you guys ever see the Eldritch Pottery Santas, pick them up because they sell really, really well. All right. So this final lot of things I'm going to show you guys, I bought them all, right? Because I have sold these big eyed dolls in the past and they do really surprisingly well, like surprisingly, surprisingly well. They don't sell right away, but there are collectors out here. There are people who collect these because they come in these elaborate, elaborate, um, um, what am I trying to say? Elaborate, um, uh, dresses and uh, they just sell really, really well. So the ones that I have here, I want to say I paid anywhere between $2.99 and $3.99 a piece for these. Um, I think, but they weren't they weren't expensive at all, and they can go for anywhere between twenty five and thirty dollars, right? So I picked them up. So anyway, this one is a beautiful Christmas big eyed. I think they're called. Not Art Mart. Is it Art Mart? I can't remember. I'll, if I remember, I'll put it up here, um, the manufacturer. But anyway, look at her. She is beautiful. Now, she has a little smudge in her forehead right there. I can probably clean that up a little bit. But for the most part, isn't she gorgeous? Like, isn't she, like, super-duper gorgeous? Like, seriously. 
Can you imagine just having her like in your Christmas home decor? Like she is so pretty. She, they come on a stand like this and she has on her red, her red, her red uh, kicks. And here's the back of her ensemble. I used to tease my, one of my friends, you know, we used to, you know, tease each other. And um, I used to say, I love your ensemble. Like really messing it up, knowing it's ensemble. But I used to say that all the time. I love your ensemble. But anyway, I just thought she was cute and amazingly beautiful. She has her, uh, looks like snow flowers in her hand. And like I said, she has a little smudge in her forehead. I don't know if I can clean that up. And she has a little uh, paint loss on her lips. But nonetheless, she will still display well in your home decor. There you go, little lady. All right, the next one, she looks like a beautiful uh, lilac southern belle. Look at her. <laughs> She's on her stand, and then this little lady don't have no shoes. Where your shoes go, baby? Here's the bottom. This one has a, a label on that says "Made in Korea," but I'll just show you her, show you her up front close as well. Now something's going on with her bonnet. It's like I think it was on this piece of wood, and it it broke. So her her hat is kind of floppy. So, but nonetheless, she's still adorable. I love this beautiful lilac dress. As you can tell, it's stunningly beautiful. I mean, they're a little worn, you know, not totally worn. Like, they're not falling apart or anything like that. There's no smells to them or anything. But they are worn, and that is, you know, consistent with the age and their use. Like I said, people do collect them, you know. So, I love her and her lilac dress. The next one reminds me. I'm not sure what she, maybe Victorian, maybe. And she's musical, as you can tell. She's about to, but she looks like she's giving us the finger. Oh my, okay, fine, Missy. Um, this one says made in Korea too. It's a little made in Korea. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, and she has her shoes too. So I'm not gonna spin her around because they take a long time to, you know, not sing. But anyway, look at her beautiful pink and blue. She's gorgeous with her. Is that platinum blonde? Looks like it's platinum blonde. I don't know, but it doesn't look quite blonde. But look at her. Isn't she adorable? Isn't she beautiful? Would you say she's Victorian maybe? Probably, right? But see, what's throwing me off is the hat. But I would say she's maybe Victorian. I don't know. But then you look at her hair. Look at her hair. Look at that. Okay. I could go on and on and on. Anyway, those dolls, those big-eyed dolls do really, really well. So this one, I'm not going to take her out of the box. This one definitely does say Art Mark. Art Mark. And she looks like a a flamenca dancer. Actually, now that I'm looking at her. What's going on, little lady? All right. You know what? Let me take her out. That's, that's not a problem. Let me just take her out so you guys can see. You guys may be interested in these, and I'm just being, you know, a little bit lazy. Let me just take her out. Yeah, she's definitely a, looks like she's a flamenco dancer. And she's actually beautiful. Her, But you know what? Her face is mushed up. Uh, what the heck is going on with that? Is that a bug? Oh, my God. You know what it is? It was... Okay. Oh, my God. I thought that was a bug. I was about to freak out. But it looks like her... Uh, I'm sorry. It looks like her head is kind of smushed. I don't know. If maybe she was in... Her head looks deformed sorry but it kind of sort of does like see that dent right there i don't know where that's coming from but anyway she is a flamingo dancer oh my missy like but her dress is gorgeous right and she's still pretty so here's the art mark label you guys can see that she's still pretty i don't even know how you would even fix that It's not terribly noticeable. It's really not. But anyway, so so that's her. So the next one I have, she's musical too. I can cut her off though. Hold on a second. See, I can cut her off. See, you can just use one of those things to cut her off. This one, um... She reminds me of Christmas as well, and she reminds me of like a Southern Belle as well. 
decked out in her Christmas. She's actually very pretty too. All of them are pretty. All of them are beautiful. But I love, love, love her dress as well. Isn't she adorable? Just adorable. And she's musical. So that's her. And then the last one I have, she is musical as well. Can I cut her off? No. But she has a Made in Korea label on the bottom as well. And she has this kind of, they look Southern. They always look like they're giving you the finger. Yeah, this, this one definitely reminds me of uh, Scarlett O'Hara. I don't know why. But anyway, I, lo I love that hat. <laughs> love her dress. It's kind of like a, I was going to say peach, but it's not. It's more, it's more, um, I'm not even going to say ivory. Maybe, and I'm not going to say tan. Maybe tan. Maybe a very, very light tan colored dress with brown uh, ribbon accents. But they're all, I know what are you doing, lady? Anyway, I'm not going to wind her up. But anyway, so yeah, so all of those big-eyed girls I got, well, I got in a lot. And um, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I got those in various stages, actually. I think I collected those in various trips to the store. I don't remember, guys. Anyway, so that is my haul. I, um, I am exhausted now because I've done three videos, and I'm cooking and... Uh, I'm going to try to maybe even throw a load of clothes in because it's still relatively early. Yeah, still relatively early. So I think I'm going to try to go throw a load of clothes in. But I'm really happy that I was able to get these three hauls done today. And like I said, I probably have about three more to do. And then I'll be done and all cut up. And um, hopefully uh, put a moratorium on buying anything else until I can get everything uh photographed and listed so you know it's so funny because i was listening not not that it was funny but i was listening to what is his name it's gonna pop in my head sunny las vegas love sunny las vegas and love him and uh mikey bags of money they are so funny and so cool and so helpful and so knowledgeable and i love sunny las vegas because he's just so kind and you know always has nice positive things to say and I totally love his channel. So if you guys don't know, Sunny Las Vegas and that's S-O-N-N-Y, Las Vegas and Mikey Bags of Money. If you don't know those two resellers, please look them up because they have a wealth of information. They do a lot of their hauls, I believe, in the Las Vegas area, but they always find some really, really cool stuff. Anyway, uh, uh, I saw a video from Sunny Las Vegas not too long ago where he talked about um, his wife, I believe, mentioned that he might be a hoarder, right? And, um, and it was so cool and kind of how he did his video, right? Because basically what he did do was acknowledge that there are people who do suffer. It's a real thing. They suffer from hoarding, right? Um, but think what I think what he was trying to do, and, and certainly please go look at his video. This, uh, his video is titled, I think it's about, uh, in the title, it says something about hoarding. So I don't want to misspeak on his intent for his video, but basically, you know, it is the it is a long-standing um, struggle or challenge with resellers, and how um, it appears that we have a lot of stuff, which we do, right? And I am I freely admit that I freely admit that I am uh, a reseller, and I am um, I used to feel guilty about uh, buying stuff, but I've learned to be discreet about the things that I do buy. Now, when I first started reselling, I literally was grabbing everything, like everything, because it was just new to me. Right. But now that I've done this for a good little while, I have very discriminating and, um, selective items that I pick up that I know ultimately are going to sell. I know that, right. Because trends change, you have to change as well. So my husband and I even purchased a, a shed so that most of my inventory is in my shed and I have taken the items out of my house. So that has been a huge blessing to me to have my shed. But I also know that reselling is fun. It's not like it's a burden to me. It's fun, right? And I know that ultimately I'm going to get the, get this all done. I, I used to feel guilty about trying to keep up and try to do my videos and try to do the hauls. And I get them done when I possibly can. I have a whole life. And this is fun to me. This is, this is one second. 
segment of my life, and it is totally, totally fun. If if somebody called me up today and said, "Hey, Donna, there's a there's an amazing steak sale that they're selling all fairy lamps," guess who's going to be there? Uh, yours truly. I'm going to be there because um, because it's 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 the thrill of the hunt. It's finding amazing items at great prices that you can resell to your to your buyers. So that's going to be something I think is going to be with me for a while. Again, I mentioned that all of this I'm doing because I'm trying to save money for my retirement. It's just that simple. Everything that I do, everything that my husband and I sell, it is going toward my retirement fund. Right? I'm not going on no vacations or nothing like that. I am saving all of this to go on uh, retirement. So it's all fun to me, and uh, and I think that we all struggle. I went off on a tangent, but I think we all struggle with inventory. They call them death piles. I call them profit piles. But we all struggle with that. And if and if any reseller that I that I listen to, they all struggle with trying to keep up and trying to manage the schedule of doing it all. A lot of us, right, do it by ourselves. Some of us are fortunate to have partners, and 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 that's great, right? Um, but I do this all by myself. My husband is great because he will take stuff to the post office for me once I, you know, get it uh, ready to ship. But for the most part, in terms of managing the inventory, you know, filing it away, uh, managing the eBay and the Etsy site and all of that, that's all on me because he has no interest, none at all. And I respect that he has no interest. He's that computer savvy. He's not interested in any of that at all. So I respect all of that and respect that he uh, he allows me to have this wonderful business so that we can plan for um so that we can have some money set aside for our retirement. So he supports that, and I appreciate that. He doesn't like all the stuff that's in the house, though. I will tell you that. So I try to shift everything. Like, once I finish these hauls and get them photographed, I try to stuff everything in my shed so he can't see the stuff that I have. Don't tell him. But anyway, guys, that is me running, uh, rambling on and on and on. If you guys have any questions for me, I don't mind asking. My life is completely, completely transparent. And like I said, for those of you who like this type of content, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. There are so many resellers. Uh, sites that you can stop by. I totally appreciate you stopping by Restore Glory. Totally appreciate it. And like I said, if you ever just want to watch this stuff and uh, not listen to me, you can always put me on mute. But I know beyond every shadow of a doubt that I have some amazing items. I know that I do. So, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to wrap everything up, clean everything up, pack everything back up in a nice orderly way so I can photograph all of these things that I am hauling. And then I'm going to go check on my crock pot stew. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Make some um some um a homemade cornbread to go along with our stew tomorrow for dinner. <coughs> tomorrow is football. So we can watch some football tomorrow. We're Saints fans and Commander fans in this household. So we'll be watching football tomorrow. And uh, with a big pot of stew. All right. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Again, if there's anything that you see, just let me know. Shoot me a quick email. All of my information will be down here in the description. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. I'm losing my voice. All right, guys. You have a great, great day. Stay safe. Stay warm. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Smooches.